Welcome back to another video on the, my YouTube channel. Here, yeah, one of my daily vlogs. Uh, I want to actually share a very, very important topic with. I will say it like this: with more of the elderly persons who actually has children, um, who's actually fighting to actually make it in life, and they're not actually um, making it happen in the formation of saying young persons actually need that extra boost but maybe your parents is not actually seeing that okay so i'm going to share a small little story with you but before you actually get into the whole concept of the thing you should know the real vibe of this thing here is actually for the youtube channel to actually take off um for you to be there educated and also for you to actually help someone else so the first thing i like for you to do actually before we head into the start of this video is like for you to hit the like hit the subscribe and help the channel out in any other way by sharing the content if you like. So the, the, mystery, the main point I want to actually share with you all today when it comes to um, speaking on the children half and also on the parent half, okay? Many reasons of poverty in this country of state, whether it be Caribbean, whether it be international, is actually parents on the whole actually don't actually support them, their children. If you can actually look at most of the researches of today's life, you're going to find that there is actually uh, more than 75% of persons, it can actually be more, right? That's why I said more than 75% of children is going to actually blame their parents for them not actually being successful in life. Yes, this is actually 100% to one point and to the other point, it's up to the child's decision. But when it comes to actually having your child being someone in life, as a parent, I know parents actually sacrifice most of their time for their kids, expecting that the kids going to actually bring the return later in life. So in case that you actually um, have a nice job, you get a paying job like it's like 800 a month, 900 a month, you may want a child to actually start earning something like 1,000 a month, 2,000 a month. And you don't see the child actually earn that. It's because I will say actually the parents have a little point to play in that. So when it comes to that part of it is the main um, dividance from that aspect there why children don't actually become more successful than the parents and help the parents out in this life is actually because their parents don't actually support the children. Okay, And I can actually speak from experience when I say this. As a parent... If you actually want your child to be successful, you're going to have to actually support your child, no matter what age it may be. Right? You as a parent, it doesn't matter what child, um, age the child may be, you still remain that the parent of that child. And even the child had become at a big age, he is still a, a child in the parent's side. So when it comes to that line, why the rich always remain rich? It's because they continue giving their child that support. Whether the child be big, whether it be small, whether it be teenage, in whatsoever um, aspect of the way, they actually give the child that guidance and that support. So when you push that support to your child, your child's going to see that, okay, there is someone actually on my back to help me, and I'm going to actually go hard with it. Not everybody got a strong mind to actually pick up and actually do business. You can actually hear stories with different persons who had said that their parents haven't given them the support they needed, but they actually had a strong heart and strong mind to actually pursue the dreams that they actually wanted for themselves. And they actually end up end, ended up helping their parents in the end and still. So 100% of the time, it's not so with different persons. Persons have weak mind, there's persons who have actually strong minds. So when it comes to that part of it, I would say like on a whole, parents should actually drive the children to the focus which the children want. So if your child actually picks a positive side of life and he wants to actually become a banker, he wants to become um, an entrepreneur, do some business in, um, something to uplift himself as a parent, you may be listening to the child. It may be a plan that actually you think that poverty is so tight that it's not going to actually work, but anything can work as long as you put God first, anything can actually work. So, you actually work along the child, help the child, give the child the guidance, give the child the support. And the support comes in, you don't have to actually be doing everything for the child. That's not a support. Okay, the support is actually you listening to the child, um, tr 
trying to put in little inputs to give the child a broader knowledge of what he's doing and what she's doing if she's actually going to make it and if she's actually making it and you know for sure she's going to make it then she's going to see some light in you as a parent and that's going to drive him or her to actually go hard with the pursuing of their dreams yes many times there is a lot of opportunities there for young persons but i speak about it there's a lot of um, things laid down there for young persons to actually pick it up and start their life going but young persons doesn't see the path of life like this because they haven't had any responsibilities within themselves why i would say this is as a parent you're going to know the actual value of having money okay you're going to know that there is bills to pay there is whatsoever you you take it maybe loan um vehicle whatsoever maintenance of all different types and plus your house when it comes to bills as i said and getting food stuff so that's actually a responsibility that a parent will actually look into get the real vibe of it they're going to actually know that for instance i need that actual money to get that job done so to me that's a must it's really important but to the child just planning the future he or she may not actually see the importance because there is no responsibility to him or her so that's why young persons tend to lay back they tend to fool around they tend to actually miss out on all the good opportunities that can actually take them further even though some of the younger ones have actually good educational level degrees and they just sit back on it they don't try going out there looking for opportunities to make good results out of what they actually had achieved over five years or maybe up to tertiary level um, university colleges and they just sit back so yes it comes to play where young persons can actually waste their life but i will actually say if you have a child you have a son you have a daughter it may be one it may be two maybe three as a parent you actually sit down give your child that that speech that talk make him know that okay what do you really want to be in life how do you intend of pursuing it don't try to actually override the kids but let the kids make their plan listen to it and actually try to support them in all the ways that you can so this is what i'm going to say on my channel today and if you like it as i said you can subscribe you can share and see you all in the next video